I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't care that much about this conflict. Just like I really don't care that much about Russia and Ukraine. But just like with Russia and Ukraine, this conflict has severe consequences for our adversaries. And what are we? We are an American sovereignty movement. You understand what that means? We believe that the American people should have sovereignty over their own country. It means that we should be able to determine, we Americans should be able to determine how our country is run and what happens in our country. We don't have that right now. Right now, our government is captured by foreign interests, one of which is Israel, one of which is the Jewish maximalist Likud party in Israel, which dominates our government. The Likud regime in Israel has captured our government. They're responsible for the censorship. They're responsible for the war in Iraq. And if Israel's genocide of Gaza is going to rally international support against them, then once again, this becomes a situation where the enemy of our enemy becomes our friend. And so, although I'm an American and I'm an America firster, and on some level I am ambivalent in a true sense about the outcome of these conflicts, we have to recognize their strategic importance. America is the seat of the liberal empire that controls the world. And we are enemies of that liberal order because of our old world views. And so to the extent that Russia is rolling that back or China is rolling that back, to the extent that Israel is being led into a trap which will alienate it from the world and diminish its influence, then we have to support these causes. We have to be strategic about it.